down in this vibrant underwater world, something spectacular has just begun. This amazing display is what's known as coral spawning, and it's happening right now in one of Australia's most iconic places, the Great Barrier Reef. It's the biggest coral reef in the world, stretching more than 2,500 k's along the coast of Queensland. It's actually the only living organism that's visible from space. Usually it's a pretty calm, peaceful place, but visit around this time of year and things are a little different. For coral biologists, spawning is a little bit like Christmas. Coral spawning happens every year around the November full moon, and it's when baby coral is born. If you've ever felt coral, you might have noticed heaps of little bumps all over it. Well, inside those bumps are tiny little living organisms called polyps. During spawning season, polyps release tiny reproductive cells into the water, which join together to create new coral. But experts say this year's spawning event is especially important because coral cover here has dropped by about half over the past 30 years. They say there are a few reasons for this. Cyclones can destroy coral in shallow water and pollution can be a big problem too. Some think farm chemicals wash out onto the reef and cause outbreaks of these pesky little guys, the crown of thorn starfish they can eat their body weight worth of coral every day. But one of the biggest threats is something called coral bleaching, which is caused by global warming. You see, inside of polyps, there's also special algae, which turns sunlight into polyp food. That's what gives the coral its amazing color. But that algae is really sensitive, so if the sea gets too warm, the algae leaves and the coral turns white. And if it stays too warm for too long, some coral can even die. That's why researchers are using this year's spawning event to measure how much the reef is suffering and what effect it might have on the next generation of coral. We can collect them and do our cross experiments and this allows us to understand how they're going to respond to the pressures they're facing out on the reef. But they have to be quick. Spawning only lasts between a few days to a week. So they're collecting as many samples as possible to take back to the lab to continue their research. They reckon this should help them understand why some species of coral are better at surviving in warm water than others. And the hope is that these researchers will find a way to keep this great reef as colourful and lively as ever. <laughs>